Hi everybody. I've been enjoying a number of videos on YouTube about vintage mechanical calculators. I'm awed by the brilliance of the mechanisms. Please allow me a short reminisce. My first technical job out of high school was writing assembly language for custom timber processing control and data management equipment manufactured by my employer. I inherited the 8080 assembly code for the controller from my predecessor. Over the years, I improved the code, but I never took the time to fully understand the integer, multiply, and divide routines I had inherited. These many years later, it all became clear when I learned how these pinwheel calculators work. I love serendipity. For my birthday this year, my dear sweet wife let me buy what looked to be a pretty good deal on eBay. I've been following similar auctions for some time, so I was confident with this purchase. Then the package disappeared for a month and a half. My confidence was nearly gone when I finally saw the update. The package arrived two days later. This will be my first unboxing video, and I'm very excited, so please bear with me. The description for this item was a little vague, but I chalked that up to the language differences. In just a few minutes, we'll find out if I have a working unit, or if I'll be learning to fix these sooner than expected. Uh, here we go. You can feel the box. It looks like it had a hard trip over from Russia, but it's uh, squeaky, so I'm sure it's... Oh for the camera to settle down. Uh, it suggests there's plenty of styrofoam in there. Oh, I hate all those little tiny bits. They're just going to go everywhere. So far this is looking pretty good though. Uh, I knew it was a little bit dirty and it was probably going to need some cleaning up, but yay, all the keys are on the keyboard. That was another thing that was important to me. Getting all this foam out of here, trying not to Make a big mess with, oh man, all these little tiny pieces are everywhere. Um, let's see, I think, I think it might just lift out. Uh, hopefully the camera will stay in focus here. Uh, if we lose it, we'll come back with this sitting out on the table and uh, we'll go from there. Lord, that thing's heavy. Can you take the box away? Thank you. That was my lovely wife, uh, my lovely assistant helping out there. Oh, good lord. All right, well, there it is. Let's uh, pan down here a little bit. I think that's about as low as it's going to get. So um, I'm going to pause here. I'm going to clean this, all the styrofoam off over there, get a better angle for the camera, and we will be right back. Just a few pictures of it after I vacuumed it off. First thing uh, is this handle on the side here um, is supposed to be uh, in the locked position. And so I'm going to start by moving it down gently and you pull out on the handle and then there's a little catch in here where it latches. Uh, that should make it possible to operate all of these resets. Uh, it looks like the counter down here is already reset and that feels like it's working correctly. We'll find out momentarily. Uh, I believe this one uh, zeroes that one out uh, it like this. It brings everything back to zeros. So that all seemed to go pretty well. Now we can try just some simple addition, I guess. And uh, if I press the one, I get a one down here, two, three. And now if I remember right, if I start rotating this uh, forward, uh, it will count up by 123s. And so that's showing that we did one, two, and the answer shows up up here. Three, so far so good. Uh, if we go backwards, 
three, two, one. And now we're gonna go back to zero. If we go one more, we should go negative. And the bell tells us that we went negative. Uh, I thought we got a little red indicator, I'm not sure. That did feel a little rough. Uh, all of those uh, rolling backwards to 999, that was the carry uh, tooth on each one of the wheels that was causing that to happen. So um, I'm really excited to see that happen. Um, but, oh yeah, that felt a little, <laughs> a little rough. I guess I'm gonna have to get used to what it feels like. Please like, subscribe, and ring the bell to be notified when part two is ready, where I remove the covers and have a look inside. Check the comments below for links to some of my favorite videos on this topic. Thanks to my wife for supporting my hobbies. I think this is one of the best gifts I've received. And as always, thanks for watching.